There is this uh, rapidly developing interest in cognitive training. There have been commercial products that have been uh, developed, uh, some of which have been based on research, some of them have not been based on research. And this has evolved into uh, this year uh, about a $2 billion industry worldwide. And sometimes it can get very confusing as to which product or which approach one should take. Uh, there have been uh, literally hundreds of studies done on cognitive training that uh, show the potential to slow down, uh, if not reverse, uh, many of these age-related declines. Even modest amounts of cognitive training, uh, 10 sessions, one-hour sessions of training, can lead to effects that last up to 10 years after the training. It's, I think, pretty clear that cognitive training alone is not the answer to cognitive health. There is a strong evidence base that's emerged for the importance of physical activity. There's also some evidence to support the importance of social activity and social engagement. Cognitive training has its place and it looks like the balance of the evidence is favoring cognitive training as a way to slow down cognitive decline and maintain mental sharpness as we get older, but it's not the only thing that we can do.